In this video we're going to look at the linear Shirley background in more detail. The basic Shirley background, which is available using the name Shirley in the background type field, calculates a rise in the background that is associated with a photo emission peak and the point of inflection in this background coincides with the maximum in the peak. For certain materials this is not appropriate. An insulating material it's hard to justify an immediate response of the background to a photo emission process. So in order to try and accommodate these variations there are a number of different forms for the Shirley background. There's the offset Shirley, there's the extrapolate Shirley background and now I'm going to introduce in more detail the linear Shirley background. And these all provide functionality that allows the background that is associated with the Shirley algorithm to be adjusted for different peak structures. The name L. Shirley, meaning linear Shirley background, relates to the way the Shirley algorithm is applied to a set of data. That we calculate a Shirley background from the data and then we introduce a step in the height of the Shirley background on the basis of the difference between the start and the end of the interval over which the Shirley background is defined. And because it starts off as a straight line, as the approximation to the background, there is no step and therefore there is no Shirley background calculated. So what I will do now is illustrate how I can introduce a step into the calculation of this background so that a Shirley shape starts to appear. Before I start to adjust the parameters that alter the shape of the Shirley background, I'll introduce a new display option into this display which is mark region AB width and when I select this option and press OK then at the start and the end of this interval we can see there are additional lines drawn, vertical lines that indicate the width of the AB width that are used to calculate the number of data points to work out the intensity for the background at the start and the end of the interval. But when the linear Shirley background is active then other lines will start to be drawn as I adjust the parameters that are associated with this linear Shirley background. So what I'm going to do is go to the components property page and when I'm on the components property page I can make adjustments to the shape of the background and this is done by pointing at the start intensity of the background and then changing the height. And as I adjust up and down, you can see that the shape of the Shirley background starts to emerge. And when I finish, you can see that there's a, a new dotted line and that indicates the angle of a linear approximation that initiates this calculation. So if I make this higher, then the Shirley shape is reduced. And this would be equivalent to an inelastic background that is continuing to rise, in which case we see the shape is not quite so pronounced that is calculated for the Shirley. On the other hand, if I change the background and I make it more pronounced, let's just have a look at the display. So in order to accommodate these data, I have to make a choice about the angle of this straight line that is associated with the Shirley background. When I was dragging the mouse to change the characteristics of the Shirley background, the parameter that was being adjusted is this start offset parameter. And you can see it has a value now of 16.29. And that accounts for an offset between the start of the data and where the line is drawn. There are other parameters that can be adjusted as part of this Shirley background that is L Shirley and the T0 parameter in the cross-section field that is the offset in the Tugar background is also an offset in this L Shirley background. So if I were to specify 4 for this T0 parameter and that's the fourth one in the list of parameters in the cross-section and I press return, you can see that the Shirley 
background is now shifted. And this would be the type of shift that you might expect if you had an insulator, where the response to a photo emission peak is delayed due to the band gap. There is one other parameter that we can use here. And if I set the third parameter to one, then this fixes the linear background to be a horizontal line against which the Shirley background is calculated. So this is a way of returning the calculation to a standard Shirley background with an offset. So I'll set that to zero. So we're using the linear approximation we see here, which is very close to being flat, but it is slightly different. And then finally, there is the end offset. And the end offset can be adjusted either using the field that we see there, or you can go to the components property page, point at the background as it joins the data at the end of the interval, and then the entire shape of the Shirley background can be offset from the data. So when developing a peak model, you can adjust the Shirley background at the same time as adjusting components. Hence, these drag operations are associated with the components rather than the region's property page.